you want to start by going to hang on let me close out of this so I can show you okay so you want to go to mypet.jar and double click it and the skill tree creator will pop up so whenever you open it for the first time you're not going to have any of these six options it's just going to say default so what you want to do is click default and add and you'll pick the name of the skill tree so whatever like for example I called mine default so I'll just name this one default one okay so we'll just ignore these ones for now and we'll go into default one so as you can see default one doesn't have any levels any skills or anything uh, if you want you can create the custom permission which I do for that and whatever you type in here it'll edit the custom permission and then you just add it to whatever group you want to have it display name so that's what comes up whenever a player is in the game and they type slash PCST and the different icons pop up um, that would be the name of the class the display name and then the skill tree description is what the description that pops up under the name and then the icon is the icon that shows up in there and I'll show you what that looks like in game just in case you're not familiar with it um, required level I'm assuming that means the level your pet has to be in order for you to achieve the uh, skill tree I just make all of mine I don't pick a required level for any of mine because I only let my players pick theirs once so they can pick it at whatever level they want which is probably the first time they capture the pet uh, maximum level I usually max mine out at 100 you can go for you can do 20 you can do 200 as many as you want so we're gonna start here we're gonna click add level so we're gonna add level one as the first one okay uh, if you want to keep adding it all you have to do is have this highlighted and just keep clicking enter instead of keep clicking it's really easy um, so first level this is when they hit level one you want to add a skill to that so these are the different skills you can add and if you go to the my pet page you can look on what the skills do and what behaviors are and what ones they are and what they mean so um, the my pet wiki is really helpful so just google that and um, go from there there's like the skill tree creator page and everything it's really easy to navigate so I put HP on my first one so you'll hit OK now you can modify that even more if you'd like so the default is to just add one uh, hit point so or health point I don't know what HP stands for <laughs> anyways um, so you can add one to whatever the current health is depending on how you do it uh, in the config file there's the option to inherit already the skills they already had so um, depending on the HP they already had it can add it or you um, or you can set it so you can change the HP so say I wanted to make that say 10 and I click set whenever they hit level 1 it would automatically be 10 and then you can basically you can add more than one thing to each one you can add as many as you want and he, um, pretty much all of them you can alter I think one of the only ones you can't is control and uh, if you want to delete one you just delete it and you just keep going down through adding them changing them as you want if you want more levels you just add more levels you can also do so if you click on the level okay you can type in a level up message so um, I haven't tested this out yet I, I put it in there but since I just started using these the other day I don't know if they work yet or not in the game um, so when my pets reach certain behaviors so you can add the behavior here so let's say I make this one the dual behavior I would just put a message here you have to actually click the level um, saying your my pet whatever now has the dual behavior so whenever you're done there you can just go back and you can also make it inherit from another one so if I wanted to copy everything so let's say I want to copy everything from my ride one <coughs> actually no that's not what I meant hang on I'm gonna delete that when I don't need it okay so I can just copy this so for example these ones already have all 100 levels set out with XP on each individual one each one has something on it 
So if I don't want to type all of that again, I only want to change a few options after I already did one. So what I did is I went through and did the default and then I copied it and edited it. Edited it <laughs> to make it uh, match up these ones how I wanted to. So aggressive two now is exactly the same as aggressive one. Um, I just rename it and then edit like the behaviors or whatever in there to make it a different one. Again, if I, I don't know everything about it, so I'm not really sure how the inheritance does work. If it just gets, I don't know. And then the same about these. I'm not sure what to do there yet. I'm just, this is just a very basic tutorial. Um, so once you do that, you click save. And you can do the default format. And then you hit OK. So what that was telling you, and it's OK to close that, whenever you open it back up, the it'll still be there so you can continue working on it <coughs> and so you'll go into your my pet so that saves it why is this upside down okay and i don't if you're running it on your computer you don't have to transfer it over here but um skill trees and then it saves to this so you just pull it over and then whenever you restart or uh, reload or whatever, it'll have the updated one. So you'll go into the game, it's PCST, and as you can see, it has my different ones. So default ride, so the name pops up there, and then the description pops up and the uh, icon. So where it says the skill tree icon, you just put in the item number. But I didn't want to have a lead there. That's supposed to be a flower. I'll have to fix that up. And you don't want to make the description too long because it'll run off of the edge here horizontally and then nobody will be able to read it. So basically I just put a description of what each behavior does. I just name them behaviors and then a description of the behaviors. Ultimately they get them all once they hit level 100, but that's just the first behavior they get. And that's my simple tutorial on the my pet plugin uh, skill tree creator I will put the link to uh, the other guy I don't remember his name nor do I know how to pronounce it um, but the guy whose video I watched originally who basically taught me how to use it along with uh, my pet wiki site if you have any questions just let me know thanks